So about six weeks ago, I made a first impressions video of the Kingsong S16 Pro. And well, this is kind of a follow-up, but also a little bit more specific uh, video about how it can also handle those off-road environments. In my first impressions video, I did say I really liked the look of the build quality. It rode really nicely, had a really nice power to weight ratio, and that top speed of 60 kilometers per hour on the Pro model was just, it was really stable. You know, between 50 to 55, no speed wobbles, which is a little bit uncommon for a smaller wheel. You normally get a bit of a bit of a wobble when you hard brake or when you get past that 40, 45K. This wheel just seems really well balanced and doesn't do that. But the big question is, how does the S16 handle the jumps, the bumps off road? Well, the answer is, if you don't wanna to wait to the very end, it does it really well. Again, that power to weight ratio with that 3000 watt motor, this tire, this what I would call a street tire, really does a good job of gripping onto that, that light trail dust, that dirt, those little pebbles, I think anything extreme off-road like mud and so on, it would probably struggle a little bit. Uh, but in all of our off-road testing we did, uh, we went out for a few hours to Daisy Hill, this wheel did really well. There was nothing we threw at it that it couldn't do. So a little bit of backstory, Steve and I had really been wanting to get out and do some off-road riding on the S16. It had been raining for like two weeks straight. Finally, there was a break in the weather, so we got out, we went to Daisy Hill. As soon as we got there, it started to rain again, uh, but we decided just to go for it, see how it went. So we started off a little bit slow, um, you know, the road, the, the trails were quite wet, a little bit slippery. We found our feet, sort of found our confidence on this on this wheel, on the mud, and it just, it kept on surprising us. I was filming, I was on the pattern, Steve was on this, and it just, it just does a really nice job. The suspension system, as, as rudimental or as simple as it is, really handles the jumps, the bumps, the going over the roots, the rocks, it does it really, really well. <laughs> now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's as extreme as an extreme or as comfortable as a, as a pattern. It's not. But it, what it can do is it can do a good job at off-road riding. The power to weight ratio, I've said this a couple of times, does a good job to accelerate up to those bumps around the berms, um, up those steep inclines that are, are covered in rocks and ruts. And because it is so, so small and nimble, you know, 31 kilos from memory, you can really slow right down, find your track and, and climb them. There was actually one instance where we were climbing up a, a steep, not super steep, like 10 degrees, and there was a, a big rut that I didn't see. This thing just sort of bunny hopped over it. I bottomed out hard on the pattern, and you actually hear it whack. I'll, I'll play that footage right here. Oh, oh, massively bottomed out the pattern. <laughs> but as far as capability, really, really impressed. Um, we spent the first half in Underwood, then we went across to Daisy Hill, and that's where we really opened the, the S16 up. Uh, the long dirt straights really, I think, again, showed this wheel's capability. Uh, there was one, not weakness, but one, uh, one well, let's call it a weakness. Over about 45 on the dirt, um, Steve mentioned that the tire got a little squirrely on the, on, the loose, on the loose dirt, loose shingle, that sort of thing. But from zero to 45, he said very, very stable handled it well, uh, and there was just no, there was no weird noises, there was no bottoming out. Uh, it just it just did what it is designed to do, which was smooth out the off-road uh, paths and, and allow the rider to have a lot of fun. Now the other thing we noticed, once we had finished riding, as I mentioned, we were out for an hour and a half, two hours. We were starting and stopping and talking and comparing notes and uh, you know setting up cameras and so on. But after two hours, we still had 90% battery. Now granted, we weren't 
pushing it super, super hard, but we were, you know, off-road, going through mud and dirt and grass and going over incl up inclines and down declines and so on. And for that to still have, I think it was 90, maybe even 91%, we, we actually thought it was wrong. We thought there's no way it's reading incorrectly. So we logged into the, the app, we went to its smart BMS and we looked at each individual cell's voltage and we confirmed that the, the 90 to 91% was accurate. So what we're guessing is that the 50S cells paired with that 3000 watt motor paired with the, the board that they're using is really efficient. Now again, if you're a heavier rider, if you thrash it, if you push it really hard, you are gonna burn through that battery quickly. Um, it's just under 1500 watt hours. But with that said, and we're gonna do an independent video, uh, we estimate the range on this wheel on road to be at 80 plus kilometers, off road, we're gonna say 60 plus kilometers. And again, that is a good number for a wheel of this price, of this size, of this capability. But really that's it, really quick video today. I just wanted to share our findings on the off road capability of the S16. We give it two massive thumbs up. It did a really nice job. I'm gonna stop talking and leave you with some additional footage. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Ask as many questions, put as many comments as you want down below. And if you've got any suggestions or any tests you'd like to see us perform on this wheel, uh, let us know and we'll do our best to facilitate. And as always, don't forget, ride safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video.